So today we're going to be making make ahead mashed potatoes. Essentially what this is, is if you've got a big dinner planned, whether it's Thanksgiving or Christmas, or you just know that you're pushed for time at the end of the day, you can make your mashed potatoes ahead of time. And you might be thinking, are they not going to go dry? Well, this will not go dry. I guarantee they're going to be soft and fluffy and creamy mashed potatoes that you can reheat later, even after they've been in the fridge. The nice thing about these mashed potatoes is you can make them just regular mashed potatoes, or you can convert them into a vegan vegan mashed potatoes. And you might be wondering, what's the difference? All you're going to be doing is basically substituting your butter for a vegan or vegetarian butter. And some of the recipes, if you find online, they ask for different things like sour cream, yogurt, um, cream cheese. And what you can do is just substitute those things. So I'm just going to show you how you can do that easily. So basically, I like to start off by having cubed and peeled potatoes. Now you can do them in a pot on the stove or you can do them in the Instapot. It really doesn't matter. But what I like to do with these is to actually cook them so that they're a little bit overdone and extra soft. So now that we've got our potatoes cooked, so what I did is I cooked them in a pot on the stove for about 10 to 12 minutes. And if you want to do them in the Instapot, do them in the Instapot for about 8 to 10 minutes. So just reduce it by a couple of minutes if you're doing it in the Instapot. But now that we have these uh, drained, um, we're now gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our ingredients. So basically you can do uh, regular butter. You can choose to do um, dairy-free butter. And all you're gonna need is some cream cheese and then you're gonna season it however you like it. So we're not gonna add any liquid um, milk or anything like that because the fat content is what is going to keep these mashed potatoes creamy for a few days in the fridge while you make them ahead of time. So I've just added approximately about a half a cup of butter. And the next thing we're gonna add is our cream cheese. And I'm gonna do about four ounces, which could be about approximately a half a cup to a cup. I'm just gonna add some salt. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna start mashing the potatoes. So now that our mashed potatoes are done, um, you can add anywhere from about a half a cup of butter to one cup. It depends. Just go for the feel and the consistency you want your potatoes as well as the uh, cream cheese. So now I'm just going to put them in this casserole dish and once it has cooled down, we'll put them in the refrigerator. And they can last about two to three days in the refrigerator uh, where they'll stay consistently um, smooth and creamy mashed potatoes and then you can just reheat them in your oven or your microwave. So now's the perfect time if you want to garnish your mashed potatoes. I just like to add a little bit of chives. You can add um, some paprika or anything like that. Generally, if I do add garlic powder or things like that into my potatoes, I do it while I'm mashing my potatoes and I have the butter and the cream cheese in there. It's a great time to add different flavorings, whether you like to add garlic powder or chives. But I just like to add a little sprinkle just as decoration or like I said, paprika is a nice... Um, garnish as well. Anyways, all you need to do now is just cover this. Once it's cooled down, put it in the refrigerator and then we're just going to reheat it for about 20 minutes in either the oven at about 300 to 350 degrees or you can heat it up also in the microwave, which I don't have one of those, but you can do that as well. It's an option. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe and uh, like and follow us for more recipes that we have here on hand at Plowman's Backyard.